Got mitts and sweaty for you today, boys. It's going to be a good one. It's Finland versus Finland, which is always going to be fun. See who the the least bad Finnish player is. Of course, by least bad, I mean world class, incredible Finnish player. Who is the best? Who's it going to be? I think uh, this could be a lot closer than some of you are expecting, because people are going to think, yeah, Metza, he's a threes player. No, don't find match. Metz is a threes player. Oh, wait, I got to say. BO5 sounds good to you, hence. Um, Metz is a threes player. Currently undefeated in RLCS. 4 0. Metz a 4 0 Norris. And then Sweaty is um, a kind of a. I think he's still a, not, that, not a threes player, more of a ones and twos player. I'm not sure what he would. Oh my god, Metz wants a best of 11. I don't know about that one. But. Uh, I suggested best of five. Okay, I did. <laughs> I did have to really quickly check when I saw you say that, J Fiddles. It said turn off bots. I had to look. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Are the bots on? But they're not. They're off, which is good. Isn't best five a short series? Best of five is pretty, pretty normal, I'd say. Best of five is pretty good. You got another like, text to speech for that? Oh, I wonder. Well, that's weird. Th oh, Cosmic Dustman, thanks for the tier one anyway. Thanks for the September sub. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I know you've said before, but hey, welcome, Here's welcome back, Johnny. brand new, welcome back, J Train nine nine three nine, welcome to Twitch Prime as well. Appreciate you. Looks like Metz has got the default camera glitch, so I'll try to look at it mostly from Sweaty's POV. Unless Metz is moving at a bit more speed, then we might be able to see a bit of a zoomed out camera from him. Yeah, every time he does go slow, it's going to be like this. I'm afraid because the uh, this glitch is still not gone. Metz has been practicing ones recently. He is currently twentieth in the leaderboard. So this is going to be very interesting because he told me when I asked him if he's now a ones main, he said no, not at all. Just, you know, farming the same people all day. Hardly getting any points. Booty, welcome back. Thank you for the three months, man. I do appreciate that. Um, Squishy versus Jazer. Hey, who knows? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. That's going to be a pretty tough one for time zones. I think those guys have eight hours between them or seven, maybe. Not 100% sure. Anyway, like I was saying, Sweaty, by far, these two players, the more experienced 1v1 player historically. But recently, Metza has been playing quite a bit of ones, and of course, he's been practicing a lot of threes for RLCS. Undefeated in RLCS alongside his teammates, a lot, and Magnus. I'm really happy for those guys. All hard workers, all great guys. It would be great to see them achieving um, as much as possible. That's a great fake from Metza. I love it. He's faking a reverse 45 degree flick, and instead just backs out into a full 360 underneath the ball. Even though it didn't work out, he still managed to keep the possession as well, which is really well done. And he does get a goal on the second time of asking, flicking it to the crossbar. Sweaty is going to have his work cut out here. I'm still expecting Sweaty to be the favorite for this one. I do still expect Sweaty to be the favorite, just because he's got so much experience. <laughs> Look at that shot, that's phenomenal. Placement into the top shelf. Top bin 10. Look at this, half volley. Good luck, Metsa. You're not saving that without a pre-jump. We've got to see that again. That was like perfect top corner shot. That's beautiful. But yeah, it's a, it's a shame about the, the first person POV. It is a little bit, little bit claustrophobic. Fatal Teddy, thanks for the nine months. That is a baby. Welcome back. I appreciate that. I'm curious to see what Metsa's main offensive strategy is going to be. I'm expecting it to be mostly ground shots. That is what um, he has shown in the past when he was playing in the 1v1 tournament. And he did drop to Devo. And I believe it was also Flores who went on to eventually win that. And he was mainly using shots, not so many flicks. But when he does use flicks, he's got quite a wide repertoire of flicks that he can um, draw from. And that is including the 180 backflip flick that we saw him showing off in the 180 backflip flick only show match against Magnus. The, one of the guys who really popularized it at the start. Should have been a goal lead for Sweaty here. Metza, maybe had a chance to get that into the net before Sweaty could get back. I'm not 100% sure. It was going to be tough, though. He had no boost. Sweaty was pretty close. Metz are letting the ball bounce lower here. Just, he doesn't want to rip a shot too early, of course, if he gets it a little Remember bit. Remember me from your stream a couple days ago? Thought I'd give more since PayPal gingerly now. What? Well, I don't know why uh, I don't know why, the, why Brian decided to change working to... Um, too gingerly but hey rain thanks for the 10 pounds i really appreciate that that's very kind of you man paypal evil as it is is still you know functional 
and quite useful. Oh, Swartzy again missing on a huge chance. That's an even bigger miss than his first, I would say, because he had a lot of time there. Something to note, and something that I noticed K-Dob doing uh, in quite a lot of his 1v1 games is when he has those open nets, instead of waiting for the half volley, oh, hold that thought, because Sweaty has just <laughs> scored a great own goal. We need to watch this again. Sorry, Sweaty, but this is just too good to miss. Dodge, and then right at the end, he just catches it perfectly. A bit unfortunate. He was trying to get back as fast as possible. Anyway, like I was saying, Sweaty, he went for the half volley for that uh, shot. And with the ball bouncing quite high as it did, and it was moving quite quickly, hard to get the angle correct. And that's where he went wrong. And I was going to say, k -Dot, very often on his open nets, just shoots it before the bounce. He'll just hit it right, be right before the ball bounces, like bounce it into the ground himself. And that way you don't need to time it as well to get the ball to arc low. Because if you bounce it into the ground, it's more likely to arc low. Of course, you want to uh, hit the ball after the bounce if you want the higher arc. So, hey, open net. You don't need that height. Just hit it hard. Hard and low. 3 all, Close game. This has been disappearing pretty quickly. We're already in the final two. But another open net, Mr. Sweaty. That's the third of the game. This game certainly should be well within his control with how many open net misses he's had. Metz is struggling to get the ball bouncing. Does well per on the first 50-50, but the second one doesn't go so well. Looks like that will be finally an open net score for Sweaty. That first 50-50 by Metz, at, although it looked kind of blind from our POV, we have to remember that this camera that we're looking through is not what Metz sees. He has a much more zoomed out camera than this. This is default camera glitch. Uh, so although it looked really blind for us, he probably had slightly better information being able to see over the top of the ball with a more wide FOV and a maybe higher angle or a higher camera height. I don't know exactly what Metz's camera settings are. 110 FOV almost certainly and a bit more distance perhaps. Um, but hey, gets the fake for the equalizer down low. Approaching the final minute. It is ground shot central here. Starting to go for a self-set rebound, but very, very difficult to get those in 1v1 from such close range. I'm impressed by Metz, though. Very controlled. He's been a bit fortunate that he hasn't lost any uh, open hey, nets. Glad Still hanging in there. Another good 50-50. Like <laughs> what do you mean the bean queen? Straight to the brain. Am I right, gentlemen? How does Brian handle the doodies? Doody, doody, do. <laughs> Look at Sweaty go. Yeah, Brian handles the doody doos pretty well. I can't remember, is it the girl, the female donation voice reader who just can't read Doody Doo? Starts singing it. 40 seconds remaining. Donations have finally uh, stopped talking to me. Sweaty does take the lead. This is absolutely his game to win. Absolutely his game to win. With the amount of open net misses he's had, he should be in the lead here by more than one, I would say. Metz has done him a lot better job of converting chances or at least making Sweaty, you know, get. A save, which, you know, at least forced a save from his opponent, which is not something we can say about Sweaty. He's missed quite a few off his shots. Volley from Metza, that's a bit of an adaptation from his usual half volley from the edge of the box. But that may be his last chance of the game. Unless Sweaty has just given the ball away. Metza smartly trying to control this. It's not an easy one to control, though. Because it is so close to the goal. Does get demoed. That's going to be game, surely. I'm sure Sweaty should be able to run down the clock this time. To get the first game on the board. Metza knows there's no point chasing. Time is going to run out. 1-0 Sweaty. It's the player that we expected to be in the lead who is indeed in the lead. But a pretty close game there. I'm not going to lie. That was very impressive by Metza. He is certainly in with a shot here in the best of five. Or at least I think he's in with a good shot. Captain Watch, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, by the way. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot, man. Always talks about Shirley. I don't want to say Shirley. I say Shirley. Do I say Shirley? Do I, do I really say Shirley? There we go. So now we get to see some Metsa camera settings. And right away, they're working out great for him. I uh, reiterate, for anybody who's confused, this is what he would have been seeing in game one. It was just a spectator glitch that made us zoom in. I, I feel like I haven't talked about the default camera glitch very often recently because uh, it's not been happening as much in the recent times as it used to. It used to happen every other game back when I was just uh, casting at the very beginning of the Rocket League 1's competitive scene. Oh, that's phenomenal by Metza! What on earth is this? I've got to think that he might have only met the second touch, not the third. Look at that. One touch, two touch, three touch. 
That's phenomenal. He pops it with one, gets the initial volley, and then rolls over and hits it a uh, third time in that, you know, ground to air maneuver. That's very well done. If somebody could master that, how on earth are you supposed to save it? It's so difficult to read where the ball is going to go in those situations. I will highlight again. I don't think that Metsa meant to do that, but he adapted well. Set himself up perfectly for success. And he's done so again. Sweaty Mix not looking as confident. He went for the boost there, thought about it, and he did not respect Metsa's speed of the rebound. Between a rock and a hard place there, though, was Sweaty. Because if he did not, you know, wait in the ground, if he went full on pre-jump, Metsa could have just not decided not to hit the ball and it would have rolled in behind uh, Sweaty Mix. Metz is looking good. Another fake. This time he's going to go around him with the wiggle. He's gone underneath Sweaty a couple of times. Now he goes to his side. Big looping. Look at that run up from Metz that really convinces Sweaty that he is trying to pull the trigger for a shot. 4 0. What a turnaround from the first game where he only managed to score, I believe, four goals. Or was it five? Certainly something similar to this. Boost has been missed. Is Metz going to take the ball back to the corner? Instead, he's just going to stay on it. Doesn't want to give his back to Sweaty. In case Sweaty decides to go on the offensive. It's a bit of a fortunate trip though from Metza. Just uh, pit maneuvering Sweaty's car. Of course, a valid strategy, especially in 1v1 where there's more of these close to the ball situations, both players tussling for position. Great initial or great start to the game though for Metza still. And with how inconsistent sweaty shots have been I've got to think the Mets is going to be able to close this one out even though we're only just a minute and a half into the game it's looking really good sweaty plays it to the right that's a heavy first touch though he has to fade away to even get the ball past Metza but get it past Metza he does however the fake does not get Metza to back down that is great goalkeeping he's waiting for the 100 boost there it is really well played by Metza good awareness of what sweaty was capable of but sweaty somehow been able to get the ball around the side of Metza even though Metza was looking for this challenge. He's rolling the ball out here, kind of hiding behind the ball, hoping that Sweaty just hits it into him. But Sweaty did the smart thing. He bounced it off the wall rather than going for the direct shot into the goal. He never opened up a gap between uh, Metza and his own goal for Metza to shoot at. Metza hook shot wide. Boost steal does commence though. Do you not want oin? Do you not want oin? Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I, I don't know what your name is supposed to be, but I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream, dude. Hope you're having a good day. Still not in control, but again, he's been caught out in the corner. This is the second time that Sweaty's punished him in the offensive corner. Early turning. Metza did not think Sweaty would have the bravery to turn there. Of course, when he did turn, there was a brief moment that uh, Metza could have got the ball past him and looked for the counterattack. Sweaty closed that door just immediately after opening it. But then he's left it wide open again. Closed the door and then he threw it wide open. Says Mesa, here you go. You can't possibly fail to walk through this door. This is uh, wide open. HDog199, thanks for the September half price sub. I appreciate that. Not many days left on the September subs. Really appreciate all the guys who have been subbing for the first time. A lot of first time subs this month. Really kind of you all. Not the best volley, or half volley rather, by Sweaty. Extremely low for what we've come to expect from a player of his caliber, especially with uh, the amount of bounce dribbling that he usually has prevalent in his own gameplay. And so he's trying to pop it forward. Accidentally pops it sideways. That should be a goal for Sweaty. He doesn't go for the dodge, but he's missed it again. Sweaty mix. What is happening with your open net accuracy? He even played that one safe. He didn't dodge. He just went for the straight single jump shot. And still, or no, he didn't even jump. He just drove into the ball. Still misses it. Metz is going to show him how it's done. No, he's not. He's going to back off to the boost because he couldn't catch up to the ball. But oh my goodness, well, he nearly scores own goal into his own net. Of course, the own net is the only goal you can score an own goal into. Metz had just a little bit of an understeer on that power slide turn. Or else he would have had a chance to go up by four again, and not for the first time. And he will go up by four, it looks like, unless Sweaty can keep that one out. Yes, he can. Manage to hold on to a little bit of boost in a situation that it looked like he might be starved. So well played by him. 
to manage it as effectively as he could. Metz is just looking so confident though with the low accuracy that Sweaty has been showing us from the ground and around Metz's net, I would be playing like Metz as well. Just, you know, let Sweaty take his shots. His accuracy has not been there, which is, of course, unusual. We've seen him have great performances in stream before. I believe he is, um, you know, taking a couple of games off Marky in a seven game set. Good shot there. He's not done yet with uh, Metz and Oris in game two. That's a very clean power slide turn to set up the shot. Perfect first touch. Give himself enough room to gain speed on the run-up but not hit the ball too far away as to uh, take away his shooting angle. But if you are going to challenge Metz in one area, don't make it the air. This boy is very fast and very clean in the air. You're not likely to beat him with all four wheels off the ground. Smithler1295, thanks for the tier one sub as well. I appreciate that. September coming to clutch once again. Looks like this will be game two to Mets at. In case it wasn't already obvious to all of you who are watching, both these players are Finnish. So you could make a pretty, you know, reasonable argument for whoever wins this series to be the number one Finnish 1v1 player. Because I think they're the only two well they're the only two Finnish players in the top 100 that I'm aware of there might be other might be others and Sweaty for the longest time in my opinion has been the number one or the player to beat the Finnish number one 1v1 player now Metz is starting to challenge him he wants to take that top spot wants to get a little bit better at those 1v1s Tazarin thanks for the 50% off sub as well welcome to the stream I appreciate that let me ready up before I change the score here Hey Johnny, hey. sorry for the late hello. Had oh, to finish no problem, dinner. Man. Been here the whole dinner. time though reading chat. Hope you're well. Appreciate that. That is a good mod. Unlike Toasty, reading chat all the time, making sure nobody is deserving to get blocked on Twitter by saying some, something stupid. So he changes the blue team. Doesn't favor him to start off game three though. With that really strong performance in game two by Metza. I'm changing my prediction. I, well, I think if I have to say who's going to win from here, I've got to go with Metza. Because Sweaty's accuracy has looked consistently off. Sometimes if a player has bad accuracy for one game, you're not too worried. It's just one game. No big deal. But after you see bad accuracy in two games consecutively, that's where you start to worry. That's where you think, oh, maybe they're just having a bad day. We'll have to wait and see. Important touch there from Sweaty, but he kind of beans the half flip out of the aerial. Thinks about going up here, and then decides not to, but didn't half flip. So his recovery time was not as fast as it could have been. Another great use of the half flip for anybody who doesn't know, is that if you're going up for an aerial and you still have your second jump, you haven't done the fast element of the aerial yet, then you can, of course, just half flip out of the aerial. You're going to recover much more quickly than if you just wait for yourself to come back to the ground. Sweaty. That is a really good way to get back on the scoreboard, though. If you're go ever going to try and score a goal, which is a big momentum changer, make it a fake. And that's exactly what he does. 4.20 on the clock. He is back within one. David MGNL, thanks for the tier one sub, by the way. I appreciate the September sub. Another September sub. Welcome to the stream. Very much appreciated, man. Now that's a ball carry. No bounce dribble this time. Flick to the top corner. Looking pretty good. He decides to roll with it. No front flip flick. Does mean his recovery time is limited, but still doesn't matter. Of course, these side flip and uh, sort of flicks where you're going with the ball mean you have to kind of get way back around the ball before you can take the second shot. It doesn't matter though. He did so well with the placement. He got it well away from Sweaty Mix's position. He's able to take it again. Air roll shot from distance. That would have been great in twos or threes, but 1v1. All he's been able to accomplish is give Sweaty some space to try and reposition himself. Metz has handled it well, though. He's managed to keep the pressure up sufficiently. The Sweaty has not found time to get 100 boost until now. Title? Oh, yeah. I should probably change the title from whatever it is. Something I can't remember what I made the title. It was a while ago. Oh, Metz a triple touch! Or Sweaty, rather. Sorry, triple touch. I'm done. Oh, I said Metz a triple touch by mistake because Metz is, of course, so good at these. But Sweaty... 
Oh my goodness, that is insane. He even got a flip reset. How did he manage to kill his momentum so much on the second hit? That's incredible. So you go over a triple touch from there. Double touch would have done it, but he's just hit it straight into the crossbar from point blank range. Somehow managed to stop his car's momentum. Imagine by hitting the ball with the underside of his car. Getting the point blank range rebound. Double rebound even. Here's Very Johnny. impressive. I apologize for getting his name wrong. Just got G it is one of Mets' specialities, of course. The other day in tunes, stuck in high champ one in ones. But love the stream, the videos, and the casting less than three. Hey, thanks, Bubble Gun for it. Congrats on the Grand Champ in twos. Just in time, of course, the season to end two days from now. But congratulations, man. And the Champ in ones, that's a big achievement also, because ones is a less populated leaderboard than twos. So if you're able to get into Champ in ones, that's almost as impressive as Grand Champ in, uh, in twos. Almost. If you're looking at it, as a percentage. Sweaty has really turned this around. Look at these shots. Messi gives him a nice shot for this one because the speed at which he transitions from controlling the ball to shooting it, Metza had no time to react. The second that he turned on ball cam after picking up the boost, the shot is already coming in. What turnaround? I thought Metza was going to be on the home straight imminently with how bad Sweaty's accuracy has been throughout the Early part of this series. Mets a rebound on target, but Sweaty is equal to it. Sweaty missed the boost, but so Mets a decides to dribble around the outside. Here's Johnny. Another missed opportunity by Sweaty, but still loving Mets are still in the ball. In random channels. <laughs> Worth it every time. Hey, gl glad you're liking it, Mini Slab. Thanks for the three months. Welcome back to you. Very much appreciated. Sweat he continues his rampage. This one, courtesy a little bit of Metza Norris, is kind of getting out of the way. Metza was a low boost for a long time there. He did well to keep a hold of the ball, but it only takes one mistake if you don't have boost and your opponent does have boost in 1v1. Well worked here. Metza muscles it in. Gets a favorable angle in order to put that over the line. Still not over by a long shot. One of the highest scoring games we've seen so far. Certainly the highest scoring compared to the time that has been taken. Sweaty. In, again, a lead by two. I've got to criticize Metza there. That's extremely over aggressive to be that close to the ball. Not be at least making a solid contest. Sweaty's starting to get into the rhythm of his 1v1 game. Flip reset off the ceiling. You can't get more than a floor pinch. Not a bad floor pinch it was. But it wasn't a good one either. Good save though. The great distance on the clear. He's given himself a lot of time to recover. He got the 100 boost. Mets a shot straight at Sweaty. Honestly a little surprised that Sweaty's closed the distance here. Oh Dapper, thanks to the host. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream buddy. Rename your stream to Kappa G. I don't know who that is. I'm not 100% sure who that is. Sweaty's just running away with this one. This is completely not what I was expecting after Swe uh, Metza started off game three well. And um, Sweaty's accuracy just wasn't there. Wasn't present for two entire games. It's looking very clean now, though. Is Sweaty. Metz says. Getting into the territory or the time remaining where he does have to start worrying a little bit. He's sweaty. We know his dribbling control is up there with the best. If he could just dribble the ball or get a hold of the ball, dribble it around, he could knock off a lot of time. Oh, look at the throw by Metza. Sweaty is miles out of the game. Oh, my goodness. Metza just let the ball go all the way to the back of his car before flicking it. He got a bit fortunate that Sweaty committed so hard for that save. And all he managed to do was beat himself off the crossbar. Still credit to Metza for the throw. Half flip into the possession play. Not off, not on target though. Sweaty this time able to recover but doesn't get the follow up clear. It's going to be back within one for game three. Well, Sweaty was close but no cigar. He's frustrated with himself because he did so well in the lead up to that. Giving himself a chance to get a boomer of a clear. And then look for boost in the aftermath. Doesn't 
go for the dodge towards the kickoff goal to Sweaty. That could be a read on how much boost Metz has been using so far this game. And Metz are forced to the own goal. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Great fake, though, by Sweaty. Metz are refusing to dodge towards the ball in that challenge. And that might be the end with the kickoff going against him. It's going to be very difficult. So he does turn around, expecting Metza to have more boosts than he did indeed have. But boost or no boost, just doesn't look like Metza's got the time. That's the third time this series that he's completely scalped uh, side flip shot. Way too sideways, and the clock will go to zero before the ball crosses the line. I'm sure Sweaty would have, been, would have been able to ground it on zero or on one second remaining regardless. Uh, kickoffs, of course, in one second remaining. If you do want to guarantee that the ball doesn't pop into the air, you just have to jump on it with your all four wheels and sit on it and it'll most likely stick to the floor. Well, Metza with the evens. Sweaty with the odds. And now, of course, I'm speaking about the games in this series of five. And Metza does have the odds against him. It's a good shot though, and it will get saved. Sweaty equal to what was a boomer of a well shot from Metza. It was a good shot to mix in by Metza as well, because he did have a pretty good recovery time afterwards. And he's not been doing a lot of those, so it wouldn't have been too surprising to see it catching Sweaty off guard. Is this best of five? It is indeed best of five. Brian seems like the sort of chap to ponder heavily on daily musings. He'd spend ages that. choosing which plate to eat off of, which sock to put on first, which type oh, of Metza. Ring to quench his begonias. What? Brian's back, baby. What on earth is this last? What type of water can quench his begonias? I don't know what that means, but hey, thanks for the three pound buffalo. If I do appreciate that. Man, Matto Fell, thank you for the prime sub as well. Welcome to the stream, my man. Hope you're having a good day. Sweaty 1-0. Looking to close it out in four games. Bit of an interesting 360 dribble there. It will only lead to back-to-back 50-50s. Metz at first one to back off to the goal. That's smart by Sweaty. That's really smart because he's almost guaranteed to come out of this situation with possession. No matter which way Metz has shot that ball, it wasn't ever going to go too far. Oh, that's thrown off the recovery. Was sweaty. Cause Metza was able to connect with him in the air. Maybe we'll get to see it again. It looks, oh no, it's happened in the past. Once we're into the replay. That would have been interesting to see if Sweaty could have hit that rebound. In a world where Metza didn't clatter him midair. It looked pretty good in terms of setup, And this is looking pretty good if you're a sweaty fan. Again, the throw, not that good, but Metz's save is worse. This throw could have been so much more for Sweaty. The approach is perfect, but he doesn't quite roll with the ball that much. It was quite a messy one where the ball popped off the front of his car. He rolled down quite vertically until he finally flipped. Search Kalpajit. Why should I search that? Who is that? I don't understand. Who is Sweaty? Sweaty's a Finnish 1v1 player. Well, 1v1 and 2v2 player mainly. But he does, I think, play threes on occasion. Not sure if he's looking for a team at the moment. Both these guys. Probably the best Finnish 1v1 players, as I said earlier. Giving, giving each other a good run for their money. There's been so many fakes this series already. We're not done yet. But Metz up. Has taken himself clean out of the game. Sweaty's first touch is nowhere near as good as it could have been, but it doesn't matter. His Metz may as well be in Africa. 2 0, or two goals in the lead, I should say, for Sweaty. He is looking to build on his lead. Not interested at all in losing it. I do like that Sweaty was able to pressure that ball. Not afraid. Off the boost advantage the Metza had, he knew that he was already close enough to the ball to get the 50-50 that he wanted. 
Metzer doesn't want to dodge into the ball and he gets punished for not doing so. This entire time, all he wants is for Sweaty to go away. He's like, Sweaty, leave me alone. Sweaty, please. Sweaty, can you leave me? Sweaty! Leave me alone, dude. I just want to clear it. And this guy won't stop jumping in my face. But Metzer is 1v1. Sweaty sensed weakness. He smelled blood in the water. And he has found it. And great turnaround by Swaiti. He was not having a great game in game one and two. Even though he did win game one, it was not a great game by some of his standards. Great turnaround versus the current number 20 1v1 player in the ranked leaderboard. Hey, Pew Minikov, thanks for the 500 chairs. I appreciate that. That is probably enough chairs for everybody to sit on. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, man. Look at these 50 50s by Swaiti. Too bad Twitch is glitched for me today. I'll be watching the rest of this on YouTube. Ah, that's too bad. Love you, Johnny. On Nara, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, though. Welcome back for the second month in a row. I do appreciate that. And, uh, hey, see you on YouTube right now in your in your current timeline. <laughs> when I say your timeline, I mean the uh, timeline that we all live and exist in. That one. So he's doing a great job of running down the clock. Just never giving Metza a good look at the ball. Oh, Metza! Almost, almost on goaling. He had no idea where the ball was going off of the inside of the post there. Great double touch to clear by Swayze. Again, not you're never sure if these things are intentional, but players putting themselves into the positions to be rewarded by touches like this, of course, is something to be given credit for. Metza, in trying to ball pressure... All he's managed to do is give up 100 boost. Sweaty back on the approach. Still looking dangerous, but the dribble wasn't the cleanest. Landed the 360 pretty good, but after that, everything kind of went to pot. Still final 50 seconds. We're getting to the part of the game where Metza needs to score one goal every 10 seconds if he wants to come back. And I just don't know if he'll be able to do it. Absolutely into the one goal every 10 seconds territory now. Still... Sweaty, getting in the way, refusing to back down. And Metzenaris will have to concede that Sweaty still, despite the practice that he's been putting into the one's ladder, looking like the stronger of the two players in the head-to-head -head matchup at least. That doesn't mean that Sweaty would easily be able to get to rank 20 though. Metz may be more consistent of a ladder player at the moment than Sweaty is. Maybe he has a better matchup against different play styles from Sweaty's, but Sweaty's play style very, very pressure-focused. Good flicks. And when his accuracy was on point, so if we forget about game one and two, he was looking deadly. So congratulations to him. Still, in my opinion, the best finished 1v1 player. Metz are trying to close the gap. May have done a lot of work recently on his ones game, but not quite enough to take down Sweaty Mix. It's just a formality now to close out the game. <laughs> it looks like we will have a commiseration celebration goal for Metza to bring it back within one. But that is all we're going to have in this series. I don't know what the Scots use to buy their cakes. Shekels. She what are you? Shekels. Anyways, of my American dollar. We have the the pound. Well, Metza with the evens. Sweaty with the odds. And uh, of course, I'm speaking about the games in this series of five. And Metza does have the odds against him. It's a good shot, though, and it will get saved. Sweaty equal to what was a boomer of a well shot from Metza. It was a good shot to mix in by Metza as well, because he did have a pretty good recovery time afterwards. And he's not been doing a lot of those, so it wouldn't have been too surprising to see it catching Sweaty off guard. Is this best of five? It is indeed best of five. Brian seems like the sort of chap to ponder heavily on daily musings. He'd spend days see that. choosing which plate to eat off of, which sock to put on first, which type oh, of Metza. Ring to quench his big owners. What? Brian's back, baby. What on earth is this last? What type of water can quench? It's begonias. I don't know what that means, but hey, thanks for the three pound buffalo. If I do appreciate that, man. Matto fell. Thank you for the prime sub as well. 
Welcome to the stream, my man. Hope you're having a good day. Sweaty 1-0. Looking to close it out in four games. Bit of an interesting 360 dribble there. It will only lead to back-to-back 50-50s. Metza, first one to back off to the goal. That's smart by Sweaty. That's really smart because he's almost guaranteed to come out of this situation with possession. No matter which way Metza shot that ball, it was never going to go too far. Oh, that's thrown off the recovery. Was Sweaty. Because Metza was able to connect with him in the air. Maybe we'll get to see it again. It looks, oh no, it's happened in the past once we're into the replay. That would have been interesting to see if Sweaty could have hit that rebound in a world where Metza didn't clatter him midair. It looked pretty good in terms of setup. And this is looking pretty good if you're a Sweaty fan. Again, the throw not that good, but Metza's save is worse. This throw could have been so much more for Sweaty. The approach is perfect, but he doesn't quite roll with the ball that much. It was quite a messy one where the ball popped off the front of his car. He rolled down quite vertically until he finally flipped. Search Kalpajit. Why should I search that? Who is that? I don't understand. Who is Sweaty? Sweaty's a Finnish 1v1 player. Well, 1v1 and 2v2 player mainly, but he does, I think, play threes on occasion. Not sure if he's looking for a team at the moment. Both these guys, probably the best Finnish 1v1 players, as I said earlier. Given, giving each other a good run for their money. There's been so many fakes this series already. We're not done yet, but Metsa has taken himself clean out of the game. Sweaty's first touch is nowhere near as good as it could have been, but it doesn't matter. This Metsa may as well be in Africa. 2-0, or two goals in the lead, I should say, for Sweaty. He is looking to build on his lead. Not interested at all in losing it. I do like the sweat he was able to pressure that ball. Not afraid of the boost advantage the Metza had. He knew that he was already close enough to the ball to get the 50-50 that he wanted. Metza doesn't want to dodge into the ball and he gets punished for not doing so. This entire time, all he wants is for Sweaty to go away. He's like, Sweaty, leave me alone. Sweaty, please. Sweaty, can you leave me? Sweaty! Leave me alone, dude. I just want to clear it. And this guy won't stop jumping in my face. But Metz, that is 1v1. Sweaty sensed weakness. He smelled blood in the water. And he has found it. And great turnaround by Sweaty. He was not having a great game in game one and two. Even though he did win game one, it was not a great game by some of his standards. Great turnaround versus the current number 20 1v1 player in the ranked leaderboard. Hey, Pew Minikov, thanks for the 500 chairs. I appreciate that. That is probably enough chairs for everybody to sit on. Thanks much. Thanks so much, man. Look at these 50 50s. Oh, man. My Bye, Twitch Sweaty. Is back. Too bad Twitch is glitched for me today. I'll be watching the rest of this on YouTube. Ah, too bad. I love you, Johnny. On oh, narrow, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, though. Welcome back for the second month in a row. I do appreciate that. And uh, hey, see you on YouTube right now in your in your current timeline. <laughs> Where I say your timeline, I mean the uh, timeline that we all live and exist in. That one. So he's doing a great job of running down the clock. Just never giving Metza a good look at the ball. Oh, Metza! Almost, almost on goaling. He had no idea where the ball was going off of the inside of the post there. Great double touch to clear by Sweaty. Again, not sh you're never sure if these things are intentional, but players putting themselves into the positions to be rewarded by touches like this, of course, is something to be giving credit for. Metza, in trying to ball pressure, all he's managed to do is give up 100 boost. Sweaty, back on the approach, still looking dangerous, but the dribble wasn't the cleanest. Landed the 360 pretty good, but after that, everything kind of went to pot. Still final 50 seconds. We're getting to the part of the game where Metza needs to score one goal every 10 seconds if he wants to come back. And I just don't know if he'll be able to do it. Absolutely into the one goal every 10 seconds territory now. Still sweaty. Getting in the way. 
Refusing to back down. And Metzenoris will have to concede that Sweaty still, despite the practice that he's been putting into the one's ladder, looking like the stronger of the two players in the head-to-head -head matchup at least. That doesn't mean that Sweaty would easily be able to get to rank 20 though. Metzen may be more consistent of a ladder player at the moment than Sweaty is. Maybe he has a better matchup against different playstyles from Sweaty's, but Sweaty's playstyle, very, very pressure focused. Good flicks. And when his accuracy was on point, so if we forget about game one and two, he was looking deadly. So congratulations to him. Still, in my opinion, the best finished 1v1 player. Metz are trying to close the gap. May have done a lot of work recently on his ones game, but not quite enough to take down Sweaty Mix. It's just a formality now to close out the game. <laughs> it looks like we will have a commiseration celebration goal for Metza to bring it back within one. But that is all we're going to have in this series. I don't know what the Scots use to buy their cakes. Shekels. She what are you shekels? Of my American dollar. We have the, the pound. <laughs>